I got your message. I have to say, it wasn't the call I was expecting. Chloe's gone. Well, you've been with her for five months, right? Sounds like things are right on schedule. No, it's not like that. She just disappeared. No warning, no phone call, nothing. Trust never was the golden rule for the kids in this clubhouse. Well, you'd just fit right in then, wouldn't you? Now, if you think I'm going to sit around here and do nothing, just wait for my girlfriend to come back like Clark's doing, you don't know me very well at all. Low blow. I'd say Clark's using every ounce of strength he has not to skip over the Azores and bring Lois home. He respects Lois enough. Maybe that's because Lois hasn't completely disappeared. There's no digital record of Chloe Sullivan anywhere. It's like she never existed. The only one who could erase Chloe is Chloe. Oh, come on now, Tess. Don't underestimate yourself. Although, I do have to say, I thought the email was a touch much. Oliver, I never thought I'd have to tell you how I feel about us because the smile on my lips when I looked at you pretty much said it all. But now that you won't be seeing it anymore, I'll have to use words to tell you. I've never loved anyone the way I've loved you. And I never will again. You will always be my brightest star. My knight in shining leather, my hero. Oliver, this might be difficult for you to face, but I didn't write this. We both know Chloe did. I did help her reset the system, though. And in a bizarre way, she knew that I was the only one who would understand. Why'd she do this? I just know it's what she wanted. I trusted that she had a plan. Maybe it's time you trust her, too. <laughs> <laughs>